Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're gonna do some Navigate on Autopilot testing. We're on version 36.2.1. In the last few updates since version 10 rolled out, the lane changes here in Las Vegas have been <clears throat> almost not even worth trying because it fails like every single time. Uh, I'm hoping in this new update that we get some bug fixes. Um, let's go ahead and get in and navigate on autopilot. It's going to be an autopilot for now until we get onto the other stretch of the highway. But literally every single lane change I've been doing this week, I've been having problems. I'm not sure what it is. Um, I know the version 10 rolled out and they're, they're crushing bugs left and right. Here's the first lane change. See if it'll even do it. And never made the lane change. It's keeping us in the lane. Oh, now it's trying to do the lane change. <laughs> So since version 10 rolled out, there's been so many bugs, it's just unreal. Um, and, and we knew this was coming. This is probably the eighth or ninth revision since version 10 rolled out. And I know they're working on it good every day, but still it almost makes me not wanna do lane changes anymore when I'm on Navigate on Autopilot just because uh, it has so many errors. But don't take my word for it. We're on 36.2.1, we're gonna test out the lane changes and see if she's any better. So hang on for the ride. By the way, we're on Mad Max mode. This is gonna give us the most, uh, the system is gonna give us the most attempts at lane changes. And let's go ahead and do our first lane change onto the freeway here. Got the blinker on. And success, thank goodness. The problem with the lane, the two major issues I see right now on uh, version 10 is the lane changes and the phantom braking. Now take exit um, 38 on the right. The phantom braking happens not as much as the braking when it locks on to another vehicle on the side. You'll notice sometimes on the, the side it'll, it'll make a vehicle darker and it locks on to it so it, it breaks instantly and it'll want to stay behind the uh, other car it locked on to. It's definitely a bug. I'm hoping that they squashed it but let's see how she does. In 1,000 feet, turn left. I'm going to do my US best to not intervene. It is a nice, dreary, rainy day here in Las Vegas. 54 degrees, thunderstorms. Now turn left to take the US 95 South Ramp. Weather detect and navigate on auto, autopilot unavailable. Keeping my hands close just in case it is rainy out here and there is a lot of bugs on this update, so let's see. Let's see if Navigate on Autopilot comes now back. If not, I'm still going to be initiating lane changes. Alright, so here's our first one, lane change to the left, we've got traffic in the rear, and it made it. We're going to do another lane change to the left as soon as we can. Alright, I'm going to put it on even though we've got traffic behind us. And success on that lane change. One thing I've noticed is when it's not in Navigate on Autopilot, when you don't see the line here and it's not giving us lane change prompts, the lane changes seem to be doing better, um, although I still have noticed bugs on a regular autopilot. So on regular autopilot, it's just going to keep us in between the lanes, control all the gas and brake, but it's not going to give us any recommended lane changes for uh, traffic. Let's go ahead and make a lane change to the right. And that's three out of three so far. Navigate on autopilot is still not bad headlights just turned on. One of my viewers mentioned that the lines here in Las Vegas on the roads are not very well so that's why it's, if you notice here it'll be a straight line and then it'll go into the dotted line. Ooh we're getting some rain. Let's go ahead and make a lane change to the left. And 
success on that one. That was pretty good. Let's go ahead and make another lane change back to the right. Traffic's probably thinking I'm crazy. And that was a success. So as you notice, on regular autopilot, so far we're five out of five on the lane changes, no problems there. Still set on uh, navigate on autopilot, but it's not initiating because we got some heavy rain going on here. Kind of swerve by that exit. It kind of moved over a little bit there. Let's go ahead and do another lane change to the left. This will be six out of six. <clears throat> six out of six successfully. In one mile. The other day when I was, I'm going to go ahead and make another lane change to the right. This will be 7 out of 7. The other day when I was on Navigate on Autopilot, I only had 2 out of like 7 successful lane changes on Navigate on Autopilot. I don't know if it's a bug just with the Navigate on Autopilot, because it seems to not have as many problems when it's on regular Autopilot. I'm going to go ahead and make another lane change to the right. And that's 8 out of 8 successfully. So I know we're getting more updates rolled out. We should get another update soon here. I know they're working their asses off so, uh, squashing these bugs because anytime you get a major update like version 10, like when we had version 9 roll out, we had tons of bugs. All right, we got Navigate on Autopilot back. And we're actually going to be taking this exit. Exit 83 on the right. So this is what Navigate on Autopilot is all about. It gets you on the freeway, navigates traffic, and takes you off of the highway. Although that wasn't a great representation of it. All right, it's 30 minutes later. The rain has died down. We're flipping it around on the freeway, and we're going to try to get it in this Navigate on Autopilot and test out these lane changes. That rain was really coming down hard back there earlier. Navigate on autopilot. Got it set to 65 miles an hour. Mad Max mode. No hands, no feet. And it looks like uh, it's not asking us to do any lane changes yet. I'm going to go ahead and initiate a left lane change. We've got traffic. Please make it. All right, that was successful. So one out of one on Navigate on Autopilot. 36.2.1. Let's go ahead and speed it up to 70. We've got a lane change coming up. Let's see what she does here. So you see the little bar there on the right is saying that we've got a right lane change to exit the freeway coming up soon. wait till it prompts us there it's prompting us I initiated the blinker and we're making the lane change and that was successful two out of two one thing different uh, about all my tests is I'm on the 95 south now highway uh, all my previous tests were done on the 215 so maybe it's just a, a highway problem where the 215 lane lines aren't as well set up This guy's trying to turn in the left here. It's asking me, it wants me to get in the right lane, but it hasn't prompted me yet. Let's go ahead and initiate a right lane change. That went pretty well, two out of two. So maybe it's just a certain highway thing. Let me know if you're in Las Vegas and if you've been having any problems on the 215 versus the 95. I really think it has something to do with the lane lines in, in, the, in this new update, how it visualizes everything. The 
looks like traffic's getting pretty heavy, so I won't be able to make any more lane changes. In one mile, take exit 91A on the right onto County Highway 215 East. Even with all the bugs, I still love autopilot to death. It's, it makes driving so much more exciting. When you're getting constant updates in your Tesla, <clears throat> it's really the best thing ever. It's like having a new car every couple of weeks. You get new, new uh, upgrades in the car, new software updates to the autopilot. I mean, it did pretty good there, actually. It, the lane opened up and it kept me pretty straight which isn't too bad. Got lots of traffic here. I'm sure someone's gonna merge over pretty soon. One thing I've noticed on the version 10 is when it's keeping the distance to the other cars, it's more aggressive. It's gonna put on the throttle quicker and get you up to your uh, set distance. And when it comes to slowing down, it, it's negotiating slowing down a whole lot better in a low speed traffic pulling away from like a stoplight it's, it's really staying with the traffic doing way better way it's even more aggressive than I'd like it but it's a the opposite is true the slower takeoff is much worse I'd rather be more aggressive and take off and get up to speed all right so it just took us out of navigate on autopilot we're on regular autopilot now we are in a construction zone. Let's see if we see any of those cones that we're supposed to see. We got some cones up here on the right and left. And these are almost, I guess they're not cones, they're barrels. So maybe it doesn't pick up the barrels and just the cones. But one thing about this intersection here is it gets really close to the wall. And it's, it's pretty scary going around this thing in autopilot. It actually, it's staying further away from the wall than it used to, which is a good thing. In the previous updates, it would get really close to that orange line. It was pretty scary. I mean, if there's a rock sticking out, you're going to hit it. So you, you really do got to pay attention. Why is it slowing me down there? It slowed me down. In one mile, take exit 40 on the right onto Jones Boulevard. Let's go ahead and make a left lane change just to see if it does it. Oh, it didn't do it and we got a cop there. Well, I'm glad it didn't do it and make me look like I'm a drunk driver there with that cop. All right, guys, so that's going to conclude the test today. I'm going to do another test here, uh, hopefully before we get another update and try it on the county uh, highway 215. And that's where I've been seeing all the errors, all the lane change problem, minus that one we just saw there, but the, the road's pretty wet, barely any lane markers. Uh, so we'll see how it does, but thank you for watching. Hit subscribe, smash the like button, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Tell me what you think about the video quality on this one. I was recording in uh, 4K, uh, 60 frames per second, and 4K, 30 frames per second on a couple of the cameras. And I'm just curious how you guys think the quality is on your end, so let me know. All right, guys, so that concludes our update 36.2.1. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the lane changes, if you're having any issues in your area. And let me know what you think about that rain today here in Las Vegas. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.